Hello, in this video John's going to show you how to cut back and tidy up Helianthemum, common name rock rose. He's also got a couple of helpers too this week. Welcome to John Horsey Horticulture. John's been teaching horticulture professionally for over 30 years now and on this channel we feel we can help you develop your gardening skills by showing you some propagation techniques, growing some vegetables, a bit of pest control and much much more. So if you enjoy learning those things do consider following us by pressing the subscribe button. There's no charge and don't forget to press the all important notification bell. It just lets you know every time you upload a new video. Okay, good morning everybody. Uh, lovely morning this morning and it's especially good because I have got my two lovely grandchildren here to give me a hand. This is Oliver and this is Nathan and they're going to learn how to cut back rock roses. And uh, the beauty of it is that they can do it and it'll save me bending my back. So here we go. They will have to cut it back. Uh, Juno. I have nothing. Juno doesn't like to be left. Juno, come here. Come on, give me a good girl. Oh, you can't sit on the plant. <laughs> Let me sit here. And, uh, come on. So okay, so this is this is the plant we're looking at. It's a thing called a rock rose. It's Haliantumum, if you want its proper name. And you can see it's got, got flowers on it. It's been flowering all year. But earlier on, that was just a mass of white. And we've got some pictures to show you later on so you can see what it's like. What I want to do is keep it like that because it's spreading out. I mean, if you look at look at it, look how it's come out. You see, and if I, if I don't cut that back, what's going to happen is that it'll go dead in the middle and uh, it'll just all be around the outside and it'll look scruffy. So what we're going to do today is cut it back hard so that it will shoot out from the middle, it'll keep a nice shape, and we might even get a second flush of flowers. So that's going to be good, isn't it? Shall I lift it up and... Yeah, I'm yeah. yeah just, 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 just make a start in there. You, it's, it's such a big job. It's going to, you, you'll probably have to cut an awful lot before you can start to do it. But don't be worried about doing any damage because these plants, they're, they're, they're very, very strong. They re regrow very, very quickly. How about taking some down through there? Look, try, try there. That's it. Oh look, we've got a few banded snail, look. These snails are harmless, they're, they're beneficial snails actually. They do very little damage, they're very, very pretty, aren't they? Yeah. Um, so we'll put that one back in the hedge. Should we get rid of this big tree? Yeah, now you need to get into there. You can, you can, you can see better now you've made a start. So if you cut back tight up against that wall there, that, that rose stone is there. That's it, brilliant. There we go. A little bit more, maybe. That's lovely. Actually, if you stop just a second, can you see there's new little shoots coming here already? Yeah. Yeah, so cut above those. You see, those are the ones which will replace all this when we've cut it back. So we cut above those if we see them. See all the new shoots there ready to go? Okay. There we are, that's a nice tidy job, isn't it? But what we do need to watch out for is this stuff often self-seeds. And if you look down there, do you see it down on the corner there? Yeah. So what, what, what happens with these, these uh, helianthemums is because they're very prolific, they cross over and they self-seed. And that's a little seedling. Now I'm going to leave that one there because it's quite close, it won't do any harm, and it might be a nice pretty colour. And if, it's, you know, if not, we can pull it up or we can lift it up and uh, plant it somewhere else if we want to. Right, so here we are, we've moved on to another plant. Uh, oh yes, that, you know what that is? No. That, that's an elephant hawk moth. The trunk is pulled in and that makes the eyes... Is it poisonous? No, no, not at all. When it pulls the trunk in, the eyes stick out, and it looks like eyes, doesn't it? Do it you think it might frighten a bird or something? Yeah. That's maybe. the idea. It doesn't frighten you because you know what it is. Mm. But in a minute, Here if is. you hang on a minute or two, you'll see, you see his little, little, his little, little trunk coming out. Look, that's his little head. He thinks, oh, I'm not quite sure where I am. I've never been on Nathan's hand before.
Well, that's all for today, folks. We very much enjoyed having you here with us today in Somerset. If you'd like to follow us, do consider subscribing by pressing the subscribe button. And don't forget to push the all-important notification bell. It just lets you know every time we upload a new video. Until next time.